Hey there, pilots. Quad Smack here. Did you know that your charger may also double as a benchtop power supply? Today, I'm going to share with you a not so well known feature of the Toolkit RC Q6AC that allows you to do just that. Let's take a look. I find that often on the bench, I'll be working on building or repairing one of my craft, and I need to power the craft, a fan, FPV goggles so that I can see what the video system is doing. Previously, I would do this by finding two batteries, hopefully find two that are charged, uh, hope I don't run them out, but you know, then you forget what you're doing, run them too long, run a battery out, or just can't find one that's charged. So it's possible if, like me, you have a charger that has this capability, you don't need to do that anymore. I recently added the Toolkit RC Q6AC to my bench. And while this has cleaned up my charging game quite a bit, uh, there's another feature of the charger that really ups its value and keeps it center stage on my bench. This feature is the power supply function. The power supply function allows you to turn each port of the Q6AC into a voltage and current regulated power supply, turning this into a 400 watt, four channel bench power supply. Let me show you. First, you're gonna need some kind of connections to connect your power supply, your, your charger, which is going to be a power supply, to uh, the things you wanna power up. So I went ahead and got myself a little bit longer XT60 extension cord. Um, in this case, I'm going to demonstrate it with a uh, XT30 uh, craft, so we'll put a little adapter on there. And that's going to be what we're going to power up the, the craft with. And then on the other side, uh, just have the XT60 from my balance board. Uh, and I'm going to run that into goggles power line. And we'll power my goggles with, with that. The fan I'm going to need also. Now this, instead of going into a, a power supply line, uh, the Q6AC has a USB and a USB-C port. Uh, the USB-C port is actually 65 watts. You can actually use that to charge your phone, whatever you want to do with 65 watts of USB-C power. In this case, I'm just going to power this fan right from the USB-A port. And you'll see, got a running fan. We'll set that aside for now, and we'll get back to the power supply. Now I'm going to use port 2 and 3 simply because they're right up front and they're easily accessible for what I want to do today. So let me take you a little closer to the charger and we'll talk about how we turn on the power supply. So to use the power supply setting, uh, it's just like charging a battery, uh, except that we make a few different choices. So we'll go to port 2, which is going to be my craft. So I want to set that to be uh, about 23 volts because it's a six cell craft. I'm going to set it to 23 volts. Uh, and make sure it has like four amps of current. I'm not going to be powering up the whole thing on, on the bench today. I just want to power it to show you. So we'll select channel two, go to the settings. And the first thing we do is pick the battery type. And we change that instead of being LiPo or what have you, we'll go to power. That's the power supply feature. Uh, pick the output voltage. In this case, we're going to set it to like 23 for my six cell craft. And the nice thing about this is you have multiple voltages right here. Whatever you're working on, you've got it right at hand. Uh, and then you can set a max current. And that's especially good if you're first testing something. You set this a little bit lower and make sure you don't burn something out. It's kind of similar to using a smoke stopper. I don't recommend this in replacement for a smoke stopper, but it does give you uh, a similar kind of protection. But in this case, we're going to go ahead and give it 4 amps so that we can actually power this craft on. I'm not going to spin it up on the bench here, but will give you the idea that uh, we do have that control. And then simply start it just like you're starting charging. Now while that's, you'll see that that kind of ramps up to power. Um, I'm not sure how well it comes through, but I hope you can see that that's slowly ramping up to the power. And while that's ramping up, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on channel three for my goggles. Uh, and uh, I'm only gonna set this to uh, 7.4 volts. Uh, the goggles will run on two cell and up, so uh, we're gonna go ahead, look, say, we'll go ahead and use the power supply setting. Uh, in this case, we're gonna set the output voltage just to 7.4. Mostly just to demonstrate there's a difference, and I'm only gonna give it two amps, because it shouldn't be anywhere near that for uh, this particular setup. Hit start, and you'll see that'll start to, to count up also. Um, I do like to let it get to the voltage that I selected just to make sure that we're all set. Um, I've tried it once, letting it ramp up, and sure it does exactly what you expect when it gets to the right voltage, whatever it is you're plugged into will turn on, but 
I find it works better if you let it get off the voltage first. So let me back up and connect this all up and we'll show you how it works. So we have our craft here. And I have my goggles here. And we have the fan that we previously plugged into the USB in the back there. So we're going to go ahead and a little crowded because we're doing some stuff here on the video, but go ahead and put our fan on there for some cooling. And then I'm going to power up the goggle first because they always take a little longer. Go ahead and power them up. There we go. Goggles are on. You can see that it is 7.4 volts. Now we're going to go ahead and power up the craft. No battery's being damaged. I've got my fan on there, keeping that cool. Goggles are powered up. Uh, it works really well. It gives me another tool right here on my bench. Uh, it gives another feature useful from the Toolkit RC charger. Uh, I just wanted to show that you have that feature if, you, if you're looking at it. There are other chargers that have this feature. I'm not trying to say that the Toolkit RC is the only one that has it. Um, but if your charger has that feature, it can save you a lot of bench space, save you a lot of agony, trying to find batteries, making sure you have batteries charged, etc. Works great. When you're done, all you have to do is go into the channel. You can, just like charging, you can stop all or you can stop the individual channel. I'm just going to hit stop all because I'm, I'm done with all my charging or powering here. Stop that. You'll see they'll slowly drop down. Unplug my fan, and now I'm back to having a charger. So I hope this was interesting and informative. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me in the comments. I will try to respond to anybody who has questions. Hope this was informative. I'll try to bring more content to you. I am going to bring some more videos um, with some other interesting features of this particular charger. Uh, definitely, if there's anything you're interested about and want to know about, uh, I'll, I'll try to bring that out. I'll be focusing mostly on features that are not as well known or not as well documented. Um, this one in particular, almost not in the mirror at all. Uh, so stick around. Feel free to come back. Thanks.